In this video, you will learn about plate tectonics and plate boundaries. The Earth's crust is broken into individual moving plates that float on the plastic-like mantle called the asthenosphere. These plates are driven by convection currents. Convection currents come from within the Earth because its heated material is less dense, it rises toward the surface, carrying the crustal plates with it. When it cools, its density increases and sinks back into the mantle, continuing the process. There are three types of plate boundaries, convergent, divergent, and transform. First, we'll be discussing the convergent plate boundary. There are three different convergent plate boundaries, oceanic to continental, oceanic to oceanic, and continental to continental. But today, we will only be talking about continental to continental. At a convergent plate boundary, two plates collide with one another. At a continental to continental plate boundary, neither plate is being subducted or pushed under the other because they have the same low density. Instead, the crust is being pushed upward to form mountains. For example, the Himalaya Mountains were formed because of the collision between the Eurasian plate and the Indian Australian plate. The next boundary is the divergent plate boundary. Divergent boundaries move away from because each other. Because of this, a gap is formed between the plates that is replaced by magma. This is known as the mid-ocean ridge. As the magma pushes its way up toward the surface, it then cools and the new crust is formed. The the rock, the closer it will be to the ridge, and the older the rock, the farther away it will be from the ridge. An example is the mid-Atlantic ridge that formed between the African plate and the South American plate. Lastly, we will be talking about transform boundaries. At a transform boundary, two plates slide past one another. Most of these boundaries are located on the ocean floor and they help offset the movement of seafloor spreading. Transform boundaries often result in earthquakes. They can also result in faults, one being the San Andreas Fault located in California that was formed between the North American Plate and the Pacific Plate. Overall, we learned about the three types of plate boundaries and how they are moved by convection currents. These plates are constantly moving and are part of the reason why some features are formed on Earth. 